Welcome back, Craig here with How to Make Words Your Superpower. Today we're gonna to talk about how to talk about yourself without appearing like you're bragging. Because there are a lot of situations where you have to talk about yourself like in an interview or even in your personal life and nobody likes somebody who's bragging about themselves. I hate myself when I do it by mistake. So there's a lot of parts to this. I'm gonna split up into two parts. This first part is all about how to tell your story. So a friend called me up the other day and he was having these informational interviews with people in his company to talk about these new jobs that he wants to, and he wants to move to a different area of his company and he was having a hard time talking about all the work that he did without feeling like he was bragging. Now I've definitely felt this way before because you want to put your best foot forward and you want to talk about all the accomplishments that you did, they had at the last job and the things that you did but you don't want to come across as having a big head or being annoying. Whether you're in an interview situation or not, a lot of times we tend to tell the same stories over and over because these are the things that are important to us. How you tell the story is really, really what determines how it's being perceived. So in an interview situation, the first tip is to tell the story from a perspective of being really excited and really grateful. Let me give you a typical example that's not excited and grateful enough. So let's say that you work at a packaged foods manufacturer and you make organic pickles. You could say, you know, I worked on the partnership with Pete's Peppery Pickles and Whole Foods. Now, in that example, I just stated the fact, and it's true, and it does tell something about you know, my skill level and what I was doing, and I could even go into more detail, but it's kind of factual. A better example would be, you know, I got really lucky when I joined Pete's Peppery, Peppery Pickles because we were just starting our partnership with Whole Foods and I got to be involved in the whole partnership and how we you know, figured out the pricing for the different packages and then the marketing and at the end of the aisle you know, distribution. And then finally when we got all the, the numbers back, I got to figure out how to change the pricing and change our marketing to fit in with what Whole Foods was doing. And I even got to visit the Whole Foods headquarters and go to their conference. I even talked about you know, the, the advent of, of fermented produce <laughs> in supermarkets. And you know, I really, it was an amazing, amazing journey to go on with our partnership with Whole Foods. It turned into a huge deal for our company. Now, I, I wish that there was a company called, called Pete's Peppery Pickles, but I made the whole example up. You can see that it's a difference in saying the facts versus being excited and actually, you know, the way I phrased it was all these things happened to me and I was almost like surprised that they kept happening to me. And it's as if these opportunities kept showing up up in my door and it's just a much more welcome way to go through the story and actually talk about the things that happened but not do it from a perspective of trying to show off or you know trying to brag a lot and it, it really feels different from the receiving side because I'm being gracious and I'm being appreciative of the things that happened for me. The thing to do here is to take the stories that you usually tell in interview situations about your career or whatever the situation is even if it's not an interview take the story and rework it from this perspective of gratitude and appreciation. The more excited you are and the more appreciative you are, the more detail you can give to the other person and not have it sound like you're bragging. It's also interesting to do this from a short and long perspective. So try to tell the same story in 15 seconds, try to tell it, tell it in 30 seconds, and then try to tell it in 60 seconds or two minutes, whatever it is. Tell it in different, different lengths because that actually gives you the flexibility that you need for different situations. And finally, I recommend trying to practice this out loud. I know it's super awkward, especially if you live with somebody, but try to find a time in your car where you can give your story out loud so you see kind of where you stop up. It's very clear what happens when you do it out loud. If you do it in your head or on paper, you don't get the, quite the same type of feedback and you won't improve as much. All right, that's it for part one on how to tell your story without appearing like you're bragging. Of course, there's a whole other part, and this is gonna be in part two, about how to show your subject matter expertise, show that you have knowledge of your industry or whatever you're talking about without having to say it directly. You know, these types of skills are important in interviewing, but they can be important in your personal life too. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, let me know and hit the like button on this video. And of course, if you have comments or questions, hit me up in the comment section. I'm answering you, and of course, I'm taking that and turning it into new videos. I'm coming out with these each and every week. I hope you'll join me on how to make words your superpower. I will see you in the next video.